Hello everybody, Sif3 again with another modern inscription art one run. And today I will be using a few some some less uh, mods than most of the time. Uh, today I'm just gonna use for the card mods a Zerg mod and uh, mythology card pack. Zerg mod because I want to showcase it a bit more and mythology card pack because uh, I like it and uh, I mean it's a fresh in the channel at least in my mind and then also the pirate boss obviously. Now. Before I forget it, eh. people have told me a million times tomorrow's into yesterday's video a single thing. And by the way, Overseer, love it. Bane links, love it. Okay, let's go into the Bane links for a moment. Explode. When a card bearing the sigil deals damage, it will also hit the adjacent cards and perish. The enemy adjacent cards, right? Right? I love it if it's the enemy adjacent cards. So now. Uh, Zerglings portrait. Where where is it? Let me find it real quick. It's like the double attack that everybody was talking to me about yesterday. Everybody said to me about the double attack. Now I can't find it because uh, yeah, we have like infinite sigils here. Maybe I should just go backwards from uh, from this. Yeah, that makes more sense. Here it is double attack. When a card bearing the sigil deals damage, a card it will perform one additional attack. So. People were telling me yesterday that this is not a bug. Well, how this works is it attacks an enemy, and if the card is still alive, then it attacks again. If the target dies um, from the first hit, then the second hit does nothing. Okay, so this ability is trash. Yesterday I was saying that this was bugged because I was killing the enemy and then it would not continue attacking because I didn't realize how, how bad this ability is. Um, now, why this ability is bad? First of all, it's a worse poisonous. What that means is if the first attack doesn't kill, then the second attack tries to kill. While the poisonous always kills, pretty much. So there is no differentiation whatsoever with poisonous, with the difference being that this does not is not a poisonous at one attack. If if your unit has one attack, then it just means it does two damage to enemies. If your unit has two attack, then it means it might do four damage to enemies. When your unit has three attack, most of the time it will kill anything in front of it. Therefore, it isn't as if it has no. It's as if it has no ability. And the thing is that at least poisonous, when you have three attack with poisonous, you can backline kill the second enemy with poisonous too. While with this thing, you can't do it. This is a really bad ability. I've been told that it would be over powered or very strong and if it attacked twice yeah that's definitely not the case you know why it's pretty obvious i mean it will take me a while to find why uh yeah this is why is this an overpowered ability maybe is it stronger than attacking and if there was a card while you attacked it attacks again i would say yes to be honest if i had five attack i could easily play something kill whatever's in front of me and then win Okay, I, I mean, when this has 5 attack, it just does 5 and 5. For example, if you have 3 attack, this is an insta win. If you have 3 attack uh, with the other thing, the, the double attack that you told me that um, doesn't work like I thought it would, it's not an instant win. You know why? Because if there is an enemy in front of you, it will kill the enemy and then do 3 to the enemy. If there is no enemy in front of you, it just does 3. So this is this could have been a worse double strike. It could have been, but now it's a complete, it's a worse poisonous. Can you understand how bad this is? Yesterday I was saying it's bugged. Okay, guys, you're right. Everybody's correct. It's not bugged. It's trash. Are you happy now? I guess if, if it was a bug, in my mind, I thought it was a good ability. How would I guess by the wording, by the way? How would I guess by the wording that it's a worse poisonous? How would I guess it's worse poisonous? If the dev sees this, please make it a good ability again. Why would you create something that's worse than poisonous? I mean, just make it attack twice whenever it hits with the first attack. You know what? If this gets into a unit that has 5 damage, then let me win. Who cares what ability that unit has, you know? If it isn't a unit that has 3 attack, at least it does 3 damage to the... I, I thought it was something unique, you know? I thought it was the one ability that can hit an enemy and then also damage Leshy. I thought it was so unique, but in the end, it's just the worst poisonous. If the enemy isn't in front of you, it doesn't do anything. So I'm really disappointed. Either way, let's pick up the burning links. As I said, what is the detector? When a card bearing the sigil is on the board, all opponent's submerged cards will be revealed. Such a bad ability. For a two cost. Why does what? You know what? This should be like a one cost zero four with this thing, or a zero three with this thing. Why? Why? Why would I ever like use this? Like ever. I mean, the only way that this is useful is if you transfer this whole thing onto a Mole Man. The Mole Man cost one and is better than this. You know, when some cards are in the game and they're mediocre, and you create a card that are worse than the mediocre card, then the card is trash by default. Literally. Like, it's a more costed Mole Man, cannot block, 
just survives in its lane. I mean, it has this ability, which is unique, but it, it, it's it's bad, man. It should be a one cost zero three. It, it should be something that I. This is an ability that you want to have on the field to kill enemies, okay? And until I pay two cost, play a zero six and make enemies go under submerged, it's already too late, man. What do you think I'm fighting? I'm fighting submerged enemies. Why would I take? Why would I pay two cost to pay a zero six? I prefer to play a wolf in front of the submerged enemy and just kill the enemy. You know, just win the game. Either way, I'm I'm uh, I'm starting here a bit uh, uh, already <laughs> being uh, slamming left and right, but it's okay. When this dies, it kills my units too. It's a three eight though. This is a nice unit. The golem is a nice unit. I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed with the power level here. Uh, Pegasus. It's like the raven, but it also moves around. This is a 2 cost 4 3. I prefer to pick up a 2 cost 4 3. As I would pick up a wolf that's a 2 cost 3 2, I will pick up a 2 cost 4 3, you know? Now what though? Maybe buy submerged. I think I will buy the river order. Imagine that. I pick up the river order and either and throw it under the this thing. And this is going to become a 4 3 submerged. And it's also a tentacle, so it makes sense. Ah, let's, let's try this. Let's try this. Would be nice if I obviously had a. What's it called? A Kingfisher making it an underwater and a flyer to do 4 damage per round, but it's also good as a 4-3. What is this? Splash damage. When a card bang the sigil deals damage, it will also hit the adjacent cards. Are you mean to tell me it's like explode, but it's better? <laughs> I mean, explode just costs two, so uh, fair enough on that uh, matter. We found the Zerglings again. They can also yolo and yeet themselves to death. Ah, very nice ringworm here. A red cap that tries to die. A griffin that has infinite sacrifices. It's a 2 mana 3 2 flyer. This is like a super wolf. I mean, flyer doesn't mean it's better. What is this? Draw locusts. Draw one locust at the start of your turn. A locust is defined on a 1 1. What? Draw one locust at the start of your turn. A locust is defined as a 1 1. This is permanent. This is permanent because this is underwater. I like this. This is also nice, but I like this for the locust spawning. I definitely don't like anything from the top. Another knee. Ah, this will evolve into a Mole Man. And the Mole Man is 0 4. Mole Man or Locusts? I think I'm gonna go with the Locusts. Let's, uh, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's see what the Locusts are. Obviously, the Mole Man is very powerful. I know that for a fact. Uh, it's not broken, but it's really useful unit. But uh, I, I don't need to chase down a Mole Man. Let's, uh, let's do what we wanted to do for in the first place. Oh, nice. Now this is a 2 mana 4-3 submerged. Is this the submerged run everybody was waiting for? Let's go for a flame most likely. I would like to avoid the shop though. Especially this early. Maybe an item. Uh, Maybe this route? Let's try this route by picking up blood. A 1 blood cost unit. Let's see what we fight. I I, I got my salt out of my, out of my system with the... I obviously understand the fact that yesterday all of you were right, okay? I understood the ability wrong. It's It it did not do double damage, but you have to understand my point of view. In my mind, it was not a trash ability, <laughs> okay? I'm sorry, but that's the fact. I mean, you have to think about it. If something is only good at attacking cards, then you have to compare it with poisonous, okay? If it's only good at attacking cards... What is this? It's a locust. Oh, it's a one. Ah, it's a skeleton. Got it. Got it. I understand what that is. Well, then, uh, yeah, I mean, at least it's a sacrifice target. So it's something. I played this in the most, the possibly most worthless position. Well, uh, I want to see this in action. Let's go here and let's see this in action. Now, you know what? When a card bearing the sigil deals damage, it will also hit the adjacent cards. First of all, for anybody that doesn't know what this ding ability is that this thing has, ding damage, it's how close it is to the ding. Yeah, bell ring. You cannot read it, but it's as close as it is. Minus one. So, uh, four, four minus one. Four minus the position. So, this is four damage, three damage, two damage, and the one damage position. Uh, let's play the main links here. Because this says, when a card during the sigil deals damage, it will also hit the adjacent cards and perish. So I will try to play this here and see if it damages him and also kills the Proghorn. Please uh, at least show me if it were... Okay, it did not kill the Proghorn though. So... Nah. Ah, it, it explodes, but only when it fits. 
Only when it wants. If it doesn't want to explode, it's not explode. Actually, it explodes, but the explosion happens only when it wants. It dies without an explosion. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me! I have fixed this! I have fixed this! Give me a second to see if this is installed. Uh... Oh no, I didn't install. Whoops! Give me a sec to uh, close the mod and come back. Okay, and I'm back. I fixed this time. What did we get? Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed on an up deep space. Yeah, trash. Why am I even reading this? Abduct. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a target enemy card is moved to the space in front of it, if that space is empty. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. I want to see how... It says target, though, right? So I should be able to control it, right? Right? Add my meme. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, okay, we're going to play the larva. It doesn't do anything, obviously. And to the river otter. And uh, we pass. Now we will have locusts every turn. Enemy attacks us from two sides. Yeah, classic. We got the locust. This is insane, by the way. I mean, I play one. I pay one bone for pretty much... It, it, it doesn't cost me anything because this will either die at the end of the round or I will sacrifice it and I get infinite sacrifices. This is, uh... Very insane. Let's play this. Let's see this in action. Doesn't matter, this is gonna survive. Part of the plan! Part of the plan! <laughs> Take some damage here, I continue getting locusts. For some reason, I didn't feel, quote-unquote, that the locust actually wastes the bone it uses. I don't know. Um, I mean, let's play the locust. Let's play another elk pawn. I wanted to do the explosion. But that, that. Why don't we take a hit here? Get a free locust. Nice. Let's go for a quick win. I mean, it's not quick anymore. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I'm forced. Aha, uh -huh. I'm forced to choose. Can I choose this? No. Can I choose mine? No. I'm forced to actually choose whatever. Okay. I don't like the forcing. I don't like the forcing. Mm. Well, uh, now I can't actually do anything. To be completely honest. I mean, yeah, let's do this. Could have killed the river otter. Could have played the locust too. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a weird game. Not gonna be all uh, rainbow and sunshine. Let's go. I mean, it is going to be rainbow and sunshine, but I mean, uh, we got moving around, we got underwater, we got a bunch of stuff that is pretty dangerous in my eye. There's an item there, there's a sacrifice coming up. And we found it. Well, look at that. Well, look at this. Look, it's the over... It's the a lot stronger card. Uh, Baneling, maybe. Yeah, Mantis on Baneling it is. Mantis on Baneling it is. Baneling's gonna come in and like, boom, explode everything. So let's go here into here and see if this actually works or if the card like attacks once and dies. If it attacks once and dies, then so be it. But I prefer to have an uh, I, I will attempt to get a one shot unit in my deck than anything else. And also let's try to get rid of the knife earlier than later. You know, I can get rid of the knife right now and skip this whole fight. Splash, splash. Whoop. Yep, get rid of the knife. Because you never know when an item room's gonna come up. Let's go with Elk Fawn. I would like to get some um, upgrades on the Elk Fawns, as I'm pretty sure that I will get at some point a forced... A forced combined two cards, and it's most likely going to be those uh, Elk Fawns. So let's maybe hope we can somehow give them something... The Zerglings! All looks friendly, but watch your face, because you could lose it. Ah, they're cute. I think I should transfer the Zerglings onto an Elk Fawn. At least the first Elk Fawn is going to do 2 damage and kill most likely all of the units, and then the 2-4 Elk Fawn will survive a hit, and then in its own turn it will do 4 damage to whatever attacked it. Otherwise, we could go for Reginald. Now, let's, let's get the Zerglings. Let's bring them on the Elk Fawns. And the other elk fawn is gonna be, get something like double strike. And then when I combine them, they're gonna be like boom, 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 kill everything, attack everything. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm talking about sometimes. Let's continue. <laughs> By the way, I could put evolution on the Zerglings. I don't know what happens if they evolve. I don't know if there is a, a fixed evolution behind them. 
But they're gonna become two fours. Actually, if I put the Elk Pawn on the Zergling, it's literally the same thing, with the difference being that those they start at 1, while this starts as a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but the difference... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The difference is that the Elk Pawn is most likely going to get combined, though. That's the difference here. I might... I, I, there might be some secrets with the Zerglings, by the way. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, if, if you know, actually, just comment down below and tell me about it. Like, literally, just tell me, Yosef, Zerglings do this and this and this and this. And uh, give me any tips whatsoever you know about mods I'm using that have secrets in them. Just spoil everything for me. I, I literally prefer knowing than just stumbling blind. Especially because of the fact that there is a high chance that I'm literally not gonna find the secret. If, uh, if I'm rotating through mods all the time, you know. Let's play the River Otter here. Kills the Coyote. Just buys us time, etc. Let's play the Greater Smoke here. Let's play the Larva here into the River Otter. That, uh, as I said, will buy us a bunch of time. Pass. I will uh, beat Phase 2 with my awesome Baneling. Boop. We get hit for a bit. Doesn't matter. It's okay. We got a Locust. It's not drawing a real deck. And uh, I think we should pass. I, th I think I want to keep everything alive here. This dies. Let's get hit for a bit. A Mole comes in. From when? From, since when does... I, I remember him playing, like, wolf cubs. For, from... For, for, since when did, does he play moles? Bop, bop. Yeah, nothing comes in. Yeah, here's the wolf. Yeah, and the coyote is gonna come in, which we don't care about. Uh, I will continue doing some damage. By the way, underwater strength. Let's play the Locust here on the right just to do some damage. And I don't need so many, so much Locust. Uh-oh, Wolf's coming in. Uh-oh, Smoke's dead. Got a Locust. Let's throw a real, an unreal card. How many cards do I have here? Because I don't want to lose. I think I have like two. I think I might lose. First of all, I'm, I'm going to play this. Bane Links are going to give me a free win, right? So I think I should just play the Hook on the right. Hook him down. Three damage there. And then something random over here for another damage or two. Can I do two damage? I can't really do two damage. To be completely honest. You know what? I think I want to play the larva. Hook the wolf away. And then play this uh, super awesome thing for a 4-3 damage. And then next turn I literally win with the bane links. Turn one. Play the bane links on... Uh... I will have a clear spot, right? I can play a larva locust too. No, I can't do damage right now. This stupid thing is going to block it. I think I want to hook the wolf. The mole's gonna block it. And then I might even play the... Yeah, the wolf's gonna attack here. The river R is gonna do one damage. Hmm. We are in a tight spot. Or I can just play this on the left, kill the wolf, and the next round win. Because next round I will definitely do enough damage. Yeah, let's just do that. Hook the wolf away. I don't want to hook the wolf away. Yeah, don't hook the wolf away. <laughs> Play Larva into Larva. Hook, uh, hook the wolves left and right. Maybe, maybe maybe kill the Pack Mule, you know? Maybe kill the Pack Mule. Play, uh, hook the wolf here. Hook the Pack Mule there. Kill it. Draw a bunch of cards. Next turn, most likely win. I think that's the play. Uh, can I play Locust? Do I have... How many Larvas do I have? I don't have enough Larvas. Ah, math, math, math. You know what? Forget the math. Let's just hook. And just get something with damage in, and that's uh, that. That's going to be pretty, pretty much it. Let's just let let's just stop caring that much. Let's go with here. Let's play the elk fawn. Who cares really? It's a forced hook. Here you go. Let's go for the elk fawn with a double attack. Ah 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 ah. See see ah ah. <laughs> this is such a bad ability. If this was poisonous, it would just be better. I'm the mule pocket. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take two damage and next turn I'm gonna win. Oh no, two damage. I'm about to do uh, five. So I'm not winning yet. Got some cards in there. What is this? Infested Terran. It's a one, two. Whoa, two mana, one, two dies, but it's uh, Fiducity. Whatever that's called exactly. I mean, my English is not. With words I have never seen, used, or heard. I have no idea how to, how to pronounce it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Now the thing is, is time gonna get run out and are we going to lose? Because I think I only have two spots. Maybe I should have sacrificed things before I passed there. Because now I think we lose. Right? No, we still have some uh, some cards there. I can't play anything. 
I think this is the most uh, stupid part of the fight, the whole fight, that you can literally play nothing for a few turns. Uh, Baneling, give me the free win. Boom, boom. Easy. Off we go, off we go. Let's go, please. Boom. Okay, re re reignite. Reignite. Let's see what we get. Cerberus here, the good old strange larva. I mean, Cerberus has like sigils that we really care about. So uh, let's uh, not be stupid. Let's pick it up. And you know what's coming, right? <laughs> you know what's coming. Now, now I sacrifice the Cerberus onto an elk pawn, the other elk pawn, and then we chase down the the mushroom team, and we win pretty much. Yes, five bones, health, blood. I think health is. E if I draw this or this, health is an insta win, right? No, it's not. This can still lose. Okay, only this gives us a hurt win. Mm, bones, you can forget it. I guess it's blood, and we hope to draw some of the two costs without drawing the one blood, the one bone. Ah, we drew the bone cost. It was. It, it, it had a high chance to fail. I'm most likely gonna go flame next, so forget the items for a bit. Let's go sacrifice. Let's build up our elk pawns. Let's go. Now this is a super elk pawn that also tries to sacrifice itself. But uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. You got some negatives and some positives. I mean, when I will combine it with other elk pawns, it's gonna be a 2-2. And I think the evolution is gonna be a 4-8. If the evolution is a 4-8, then it's insane. Otherwise, it's... Eh. I'm not gonna play this because it's literally gonna die on the workaround. By the way, the sigil is complete trash. But whatever. <laughs> mm, let's go for this elk pawn. Yeah, let's go for this elk pawn. Let's play here. Into here. Into pass. Moves to the right. Still survives though. This attacks for one. Yep. Now we flip. Now it will definitely survive most of the attacks. Mantis and workaround. It's gonna try to sacrifice itself in front of the workaround. That's the problem. Um, can I win? No, I can't really win. Another problem. Okay, so if I play the elk pawn here, this will move to the left. This will move to the left. It's gonna sacrifice itself in front of the walk around. I can't, I can't go around it. No matter what, how I see this, this will sacrifice itself in the walk around, on the walk around. The only way to not do that is hook this walker ant here. This uh, elk will move. You see, moving is trash, man. Hook this. Oh, I can. Yeah, hook this elk uh, worker ant here. This is gonna stay here. Those are gonna move down. My unit's not gonna move. This is gonna stay. I think that's the only possible play. So I hook this here. So the only these are, I'm gonna chase the B. That that's pretty much it. The, there is no further explanation happening. I hook this over there, and now this is gonna chase down the the B, because the B is gonna come in last. You see, and now it's safe. Them plays, man. Them plays. Almost one, and now it's a two four by four break, break it or whatever it's called. Let's uh, draw a real card. Let's play this here. It should... Okay, theoretically, this should be dead. It should attack for three, and then attack here for three and kill this one too, right? Let's see if that's how it works. Yeah. Oh, what the, What was that? What was that? It killed this, this, this. Everything died. I mean, the backline died because of the overkill damage, but why did the left one die? Oh, I guess the explosion wraps around. What? Why does adjacency wrap around? Unicorn. And now Zergling, though. I, I think I'm gonna go... With Imagine if the Zerglings multiply if you combine them. Would be awesome. I'm gonna pick up the Unicorn to literally sacrifice it on the altar. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do just to have 8 bones, you know. There is... They, oh no! Look where the altar is and here's the combination. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna find another combination. Altars are only 2. So if you miss them, you miss them for good. Damage Flame. I mean, this is literally no discussion whatsoever. It goes here. And we pass. Imagine if I was stupid enough to upgrade this even more. This is an this is like an insta win now. Let's continue. Let's see what we get. I wanna see how we're gonna fare against the pirate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Flippy spinny. Mm, well, it's another river otter time. River otter time. 
Let's go with larva into hook the stump. Stupid sift. Why did you do that? Should have played the larva there. This is going to be tiring. Like really tiring. But I can play the river over there. <laughs> the, the tiring part comes from the part that every single time I play something it will hook. That's the tiring quote unquote part I meant. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do tactics here. Look at this. Oh, this has spikes. It's one spike. Who cares? We go larva here. Hook this. Play the locust. Play this. It will do 4 damage. It will take 1, but it will kill the backline too. <laughs> high, high tier tactics. And now another day that the otter literally does nothing. Although it's poisonous, so it means that uh, it will kill the otter on the retaliation attack. So another day that the otter does nothing is not... Uh, real. It's it's it doesn't represent reality. <laughs> the adder did something, and we did actually win instantly. And not instant enough though, but it was instant for me. Let's continue. Du -du 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 -du. Let's see what we get. And now we're going a queen brings more units to the field faster. The two cost one three. That spawns larva when placed on the board will create larva on both sides. This I like. This is uh, expedites your uh, speed. Great for taking out flyers. It's it's a wolf. It's a hydralisk. It's a wolf called hydralisk. I don't know why it says great at taking out flyers. Uh, I like the queen. The queen expedites your um, the speed you can sacrifice things as it costs two and then it spawns two for you and then you can sacrifice those two on the side, right? On both sides, when placed on the board, will create larva on both sides. It means left and right, right? I hope it means left and right. I don't think this is a good unit, and also I don't have any mana problem issues. This is gonna go out of the deck. This is like the only two cost I have. Let's reroll here. Maybe we can find another Zergling. Overlord. Lazy alien balloon. Ooh. Oh, and then it evolves into a, a hive mind, right? Okay, this this I'm I'm willing. This this I'm okay with. Maybe we should pick the river otter for combination purposes. Does anybody need underwater? This is a. Um, a 1 mana 4 to uh, zero 4 that I think evolves into a 1 mana zero 6 that reveals underwater, right? That's that's what it becomes, right? I don't know. I wouldn't know. You know what? I'm gonna take it and we're gonna see. And if it's trash, then I'm gonna burn it. Let's go on. <laughs> oh, there is the combination there. Yep, let's sacrifice the unicorn as that was its purpose. And now we start with 8 bones. Thank you, by the way, Mythic Packs, for actually having that working. Actually, make that work. Let's continue. Whoop, Larva's here. Da -da -da -da. Um, most likely play the Overlord if possible, just to see what it evolves into. But we're not gonna see that. Uh, we're not gonna see that. Fuck this, I don't care. Let's go here. It's a Flyer Overlord, and let's go with a Bane Link's attack. Yeah, we're not gonna see the Overlord evolve. I could have though. I could have bought some time. I'm gonna go for the combination of my elk pawns. I think that's the big play here. Damage, typing, blood costs. Uh, well, typing, I guess, isn't half my crew. No, only this and this is insect. So I have to hit two. Now we're gonna go with a blood cost again, and we're gonna hope we don't hit any bone units one nah yes got it i mean i say yes but it doesn't mean that's actually good we got a dryad which uh yeah we we have said that uh these squirrels behind so this is literally we know what this explodes to wow so bad this is a blobfish <laughs> this creates dams so ultra defensive and a rattler that gives bones i mean are you kidding me right now i don't even know why i was going through them just to just to indicate what's trash, you know. You have to. When you see bad stuff, you have to call it out. Let's make this into a three, two, attacks everything, has a million sigils. Okay, here comes the point where I would like to remind everybody that uh, if you want to create one, one mod that I will 100% of the time use, it would be to transfer these patches all over into these spots. If anybody creates that mod, I will use it for every single one I'm gonna do forever. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> really important, really important. I don't know why when they created the game, they like, ho, 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 we're going to make it 
stick to the cards and haha it looks fun and it looks like um, it looks like it's made on purpose not well you know as if uh, he is stitching the cards together and stuff you know like this haha and then they they did never thought about you know if it's pretty <laughs> if it's cool or whatever let's go for an insta win by the way let's go for a quick win here i don't need to wait around for this fight did, 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 did. Boop, lights out. Boop. You're out. Go fish. Yeah, three fish up here. I'll go with real card. The Bane Link's here, but obviously we're not gonna play it. We're gonna do uh, one, two, three. And then we're gonna do this. You know why? Because I want to see what the Overlord does when it evolves. You see? As simple as that. That's how you test it. And it did actually become an Overseer. So he did evolve into something mediocre. I like. It. I I still believe that this should not cost two. I understand why. I I now do understand why that's happening. By the way, you know what I want to test. I'm winning here no matter what happens. So let's play this. He can't hook. Let's play this. And I want to see if this will. Uh, did we win or am I playing around? You know, let's play this here to make sure that we're gonna win. It's gonna attack here, and I will. I want to see if it will attack the second unit that spawns. Hit it. No, it, it did nothing of that sort. Now, the problem is I don't know if the, the Zergling itself would do it. If the Zergling would hit the bait bucket and then also try to hit the white whale. But I will do some testing at some time. Although this has three damage now, so I don't even know if I will ever be able to see if a double attack... What is this? What is this? Okay. Please. Please. Whoever is... I know what this is. Whoever is making the Jason Loader, the Jason Loader always comes... Uh, pre-packed with this opossum and another thing that's called a lot of bears or something like that, a lot of grizzlies. Please remove them. We don't need them. Why is this in? Why is this in? I'm gonna pick it up. No, I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm not gonna pick up something up that is this. Let's pick up the Vendigo, which is overpowered either way. <laughs> but still, please don't do stuff like that. Please, like, there are some things. I mean, okay, that that's like... Uh, to be honest, I, I, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the person that created the mod, the Jason Loader, is really good at modding. Headless Horseman. He attacks who all who cross his path in search for his missing head. It says, but he literally just is a counter-attack unit. Well, the Grizzly here. Uh, I don't like any of those. And uh, this thing is most likely going to get sacrificed for... Yeah, we're going to reroll here. Okay, I like the Wolf Cub, so Wolf Cub it is. And uh, to the right we go... Yeah, because there is a sacrifice pit there too. So to the right we go. Guess what's out of the deck? Yeah, I was saying, uh, please don't add on purpose bad stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the opossum and the eight bears or whatever uh, is just for testing purposes, right? So that Jason Lord you're loaded, and when you find them, you realize that they're OP or thing or something like that. But we're at the point where they should not be part of the mod that every single mod uses, you know. It's 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 not like the Bane it's not like the Zerg mod has something that's a meme in it that's overpowered, okay? That, that I could understand, although I wouldn't like it, but I could understand, you know? I could understand that they could have Kerrigan as a as an epic card that if you pick it up, it's like overpowered and like insta wins you everything or whatever. I can understand that. But I cannot I, I'm not okay with <laughs> mods that are dependencies, because Jason Lord is a dependency, having cards in them that literally break the game. Either way, I'm pretty sure it's just a relic from the past. I I'm not sure it's on purpose in there, so uh, I'm not trying to badmouth here. Uh, mermaid, 2-2 two, two underwater that creates two spawn larva. Creates two larva. An infinite elk. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with a mermaid. I think I'm gonna go with a mermaid. A 2-2 two, two underwater is pretty decent. Now, do I have anything to sacrifice, though? I have the Vendigo to sacrifice on the Wolf Cub, and the Wolf Cub on the Vendigo, and that's it pretty much. Because everything else is already sacrificed. Maybe I should go for the cards. Yeah, and then I can get sacrifice there. Although you realize that this sacrifice is pretty much the same dilemma, right? Like, literally the same dilemma is gonna happen. Ah, actually, yeah, literally the same dilemma is gonna happen. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. I mean, why there's no sacrifice there? I know there's a flame there that I'm missing, but... No! Oh, misclick, man! Holy moly! That was a big misclick. I would have picked up the goat, but... Uh, okay, good thing we got the larva, by the way. It could have been anything. It could have been, like, the um, the air thing that makes you fly. It could have been any trash. Ah, 
that is not a good fight for us. Um, I mean, I guess Larva into River Otter for a damage, and then we take a million. I don't know. And the next turn, kill the River Otter. I don't know. I can do three. Can I win? Can I win? Can I win? That's the play. Can I win? I think I can win. I play the mermaid. Yeah, let's go. Wendigo. Into the mermaid. By the way, 100% of the time should have played the mermaid onto uh, the Wendigo on the right. Yep. And let's also play the river otter to get some money out of this. Boop. Easy enough win. Okay, so. Um, actually, I'm time wise. Give, give me a sec. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm, I mean, if I draw the Vendigo or this thing, I literally get the bones instantly. Well, the damage, I mean, damage is both of these. This is a no. Let's go with damage. Because the same units that would give us the bone would also give us the damage, while the damage can be done with... I mean, I, I beat pretty much everything. Uh, Minotaur that gives you... Oh, uh, Procorn that tries to do the thing that it's supposed to do? I don't even know. Let's go with a Minotaur that gives you bees. It's a 2-5 that then becomes a 4-3 or whatever. And it will pay itself back with the bees. Now here we got the forced upgrade. Even if I want or not. I mean, the Wolf Cup's gonna go. It's not gonna be the Vendigo. Let's be honest here. And let's get this transferred. This was a bad transfer, but it's okay. I mean, it was a good transfer, but it was a, a poorly timed one, let's say. Let's just say it's a poorly timed transfer. Okay, flippy spin. Whoop. Larva's here. Okay, this is a turn one win. I mean, what are we even talking about? Let's also play the Indigo here, and let's do damage, 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 damage. Money, 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 money. Ding, 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 ding. Let's continue. We got the snip snip, by the way, for the next boss. Also, the larva I'm obviously not gonna go to the almost shop. And then I can go either items or sacrifice, depending on... Um, I mean, I'm not gonna go sacrifice. Sacrifice is nothing. I don't have anything sacrificed. Damage, as before, it's literally the same explanation. 50-50, got it. Super got it. And once again, we would have won both of them. Even the bones won. Boyodi, that gives you a bunch of blood. Raven Egg that regenerates. Oh, I like this. Heals one at the end of each turn. I like this. I really, really, really like this. It's a 2-3 flyer, so if enemies don't do 3 damage, they will most likely not kill it. At 2 damage, they will kill it, but a turn later. Let's go with this. Could have gone with pliers, though. Doesn't matter. Larva, play more units. Maybe if I beat turn 1. So to beat turn 1 here, you need 2 units with attack. Um, yeah, it's, it's the unique boss, by the way. I know this is Grimora's theme, but... Dun, 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 yar. Let's go. By the way, they ha I have been told that the music um, of the mod, the music that was supposedly here is not added because of the fact that... By the way, I think it's a bit too loud. Uh, because of the fact that... Um, just music volume here. Because of the fact that uh, it's like a five second loop or something. This thing moves around. We're about to take three damage. Can I win right now? No, I cannot win right now. So, he's gonna block my 3 damage Rattler. If I play him. Otherwise, he's gonna block pretty much everything else. So, in my opinion, I play the Greater Smoke on the left, the other Greater Smoke on the right, to block these two coming in. And I play the River Otter here in the middle. And uh, hit this, so it transforms into a 0-1. Right? That's what it transforms into, as far as I know. And I'm pretty much blocking down the whole lane. And uh, the rat... I would also like to play the Raven Egg. Maybe I should play the Raven Egg. Yeah, let's let's play the smoke on the left. The smoke on the right. Play the larva. Um, should have played the larva here. That was a big mistake. Because I could have hooked this uh, recurring thing. Either way, it doesn't really, really matter. Let's go here. I would say let's go larva. Yeah, let's go larva into river otter. Yeah, hook this. Yes. Yeah, that got blocked. I don't know why this got blocked. By the way, this is literally an immortal enemy. Oh! Recurring skeleton. Is it an immortal enemy or is it going to become something else? Ah, I get it. Okay, it's not immortal anymore. So it's... Uh, it, it It's semi-immortal. Before it was completely immortal. Like, uh, one patch before. Let's pass here. This should be a win. It's blocking there. One, two. 
Ah, this bone's ready. Okay, we won. This uh, We got perfect control of the match at this point. We lose... Okay, we, we, we don't have perfect control of the match. But we have 90% control of the match. Indigo... Uh, we're doing for we're doing two damage as it's gonna block the raven again. So let's throw a locust in the bin and uh, pretty much win. Yeah, blocks and uh, you die. Next, we have arrived at the point where I uh oh. Yeah, now what what he does now is he does one damage to all your units. So river Arder's dead. Yeah, and it also kills his own banshee, and he also I think damages your hand. Yeah, he also kills your hand, but he gives you bones and cannonball. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So this changed, by the way. This was not how it was yesterday. Th these are not the cannonballs I had yesterday, and this was not the icon yesterday. Each turn consumes cannonball. This this got improved a insanely fast. I'm really proud for whoever made this. Congratulations, guys. Congrat and girls, obviously, and everybody. Okay. What is this? This has also changed Ethereal. When a card being the sigil is attacked, I love this. This is a lot better than the old Ethereal. The old Ethereal was just his face. <laughs> I love it. I love it. G good improvements overall. Uh, I need to draw a card, right? Obviously, real card. Nice. This needs to go to the left when uh, when I find some room there. Let's uh, play the cannonball. Okay. It's a 1-5 now. I think I pass and try to kill the Spectre Skeleton so that the Raven is gonna be freely attacking for the rest of this match. Hit, hit, and uh, yeah, get rid of this. And it's gonna block the Revenant. Uh oh, an Ethereal Skeleton's gonna come in. Okay, and we won. We won. Easily, easy. Whoa, okay, now we super won. <laughs> Before we were like, okay, I'm winning. Now I'm super winning. Let's pass here. Boom. This is the back line. Uh, normally, I would hit here. Actually, hit here. Let's do more damage. We won. There is no reason. By the way, the, ooh, the, the, the bones are... Uh, I like how the teeth are purple. Let's see. You will not perish quite yet. I know. I know. Let's go for a win. Boop, boop, boop. What's this? Lurker. Stay away from the spines. They are beyond deadly. Beyond Deadly, it's a 2-2, man. It's a 2-2. What do you mean? Heavy Air Transport Unit. Leviathan, 10 cost, 210. 10 cost, 210? You know what I get with a 10 cost? I can get an Oni with a 10 cost. Okay, I'm sorry, but I think the Zerg mod is really weak. Uh, I don't know what... I mean, th this... This, okay, I can understand. This is like a super blocker for then. I understand that. that that's fair enough. I mean, a, a 10... Okay, I agree on this. This is not that bad. Maybe if this, instead of being borrower, was the thing that tries to block everything, then maybe it would be better. I I'm okay with this. But this, it's a 2 cost 2-2. Two, two. Okay? So, it's really bad statted. Normally, 2 cost is a 3-2 as stats. So, 2 cost 2-2 two, two is bad. This sigil is bad. This sigil is bad. I mean, what does this even do? Can you somebody explain? I mean, this... Okay, I understand what this does. This tries to go in front of something... Doesn't block it, so it doesn't die itself. And then the next turn kills it. That's its purpose. I understand its purpose. But this is a rare. Do you remember what is in rare? Mantis God is in rare. And you give me a lurker for it. This should be a common. If this was a common card, then I would be okay. I I, I understand why what it does and what its purpose is. But for 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, no. I'm gonna go with the Hydra. I'm sorry, even if I can't even play the Hydra because it's too expensive. I, I don't care. I don't care. I prefer a Hydra that I can't play than a lurker that I won't see play. <laughs> Famous words to live by. Uh, words to live by, flat. Not famous. Um, transfer the Hydra to something? No. I can't transfer anything. So let's go pick up one item. And uh, then we're gonna end this run. As we always do. And uh, we will pick up the bones. I'm kidding. We're gonna pick up the snick, snip. I have so many bones. Yeah, I have so many bones. I'm obviously gonna pick up the snip. Even if you say nine bones are not enough. Um, let's not forget that I start with two greater smokes in hand. So I have... <laughs> I have 17 bones in my starting hand. Spamming W to run. Liar. Mover. Ringer. I'm gonna go for the ring, obviously. Let's see what we get. One, two, three. I obviously go for the double card draw. Now, swimmer. I have some swimmers. Rares. I think I have more rares than swimmers. Although, to be honest, I might be wrong about that. Yeah, that was... Oh, success! Ah, oh, the Vinigo! Nice! Well, everything would have been a success. We go with this, and we win round two. Let's go. Come on, Leshy. We know you're gonna lose. 
Everybody knows it at this point. Hey Leshi, what's up? So, let me tell you how it's gonna go. Uh, if you give me, in my starting hand, the... what's it called? The Elk Fawn, I'm just gonna play it and win. I just realized I haven't I haven't done anything for a photo shoot at the end. Damn it! There is no point in this video where I can do <laughs> where I have a thumbnail already. <laughs> Whoops! Whoops! Doesn't matter though. Maybe I will do it now. Let's see what we can get. I got the Hydra, which I can't play because it's gonna die from the phase one thing that he does. I could snip the mole man and try to go for a one turn win. Play the mermaid. Play the Rattler, play the Hydra, everything dies on the spot. Can I even play the Hydra? I mean, I'm gonna play one, two, play Mermaid, makes two things appear. Uh, play the third one, play the Hydra on those three, boom, 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 appears, then Rattler appears, then I snip, then I win. Okay, let's go, let's do this. One, book it. Two, three, nice. Uh, four, five, I mean, I'm just saying random numbers, by the way here and we go with the snip bye and we pass easy win next oh no three stumps oh guess what hydra is nice super hydra i'm gonna draw the elk fawn here and uh that was stupid and uh i guess the bane links good thing i have this larva i'll just play this over here a hook a stump as if I care. Let's go here. I could have killed the rattler by the way. Did I kill the rattler to play the main links? Ah, let's play this here. Let's get a photo shoot in. This is pretty much the photo shoot. This is three damage here, three damage here, two damage there. We win from this spot. And two, two, and two, and then three, and it's gonna kill the bat. It doesn't matter what the back line does. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. And you're out. And you're out. And now the Hydra's gonna evolve, right? That's how it works, as far as I remember. Now my question is, will the Elk Fawn attack two times? That is my question, because I have been told that they nerfed it on purpose. That's what I have been told, they nerfed it on purpose. Let's see, is it going to attack one, two, three, four? Or is it just gonna be one, two, and this sigil is literally not doing anything? One, two, three, four, okay, okay, I understand, okay. Fair enough. Still though, I believe it's trash. <laughs> I still believe it's worse than uh, Wendigo's here. <laughs> Wait, did Wendigo evolve? Elder Wendigo. <laughs> it did evolve. Let's draw this. Doesn't really matter. We are still winning. One, two, three, four. And we win. Nice. I'm getting excited for some reason. By the way, this was a three... This did not evolve correctly. This was a three, four, right? I love the Hydra, by the way. Yeah... I mean, yeah, I still believe it's a worse poisonous. Like, it's a lot worse poisonous. If if it had poisonous, it would be just be better, you know? J just better. Because it was doing three damage. So, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I, I would really like to hear some opinions. Do you think it's a worse poisonous? Or do you think... Can you give me, like, some examples of when it was good? When it would be good? Because in my mind, it would be good. It would be good the way it is. If, if... Uh, the moment you kill the bucket that uh, throws out the white shark, you... It attacks the white shark right on the spot, you know? At least, at least it should do that. What is this? This is... Um... Um... of Doom. Ah, I mean, the Elk Fawn was overpowered there. I think that was how Fawn is written. So yeah, I mean, what's your opinion? What's your opinion? Do you think it's good? I mean, you could say it's better than poisonous if and only if it killed the bucket and also the, the thing that spawns after it. Or if it killed anything that spawns something and then killed the spawn at the same time. But right now, it's literally worse poisonous. If you if it's a, if it's your unit has a one attack, then it does two damage to a unit. Otherwise, it just does one attack. If it has two attack, then it does either four to a unit or just two damage on an enemy. If it has three attack, then it's literally useless as you're most likely going to kill whatever is opposing, opposing you with three damage. I mean, it might kill a mole man and whatnot, but I still believe it's really bad. I don't think I need to explain that much more. I mean, you know why I think it's bad, right? I think it's really easy to understand. And the fact is that even, 
even if it just did double damage, it, not double damage, even if it just was attacks twice, like flat out attacks twice, no matter what the opponent has opposing to it, right? Either if it, even if it was that, there is already a double attack in the game, and there is already a triple attack in the game. So this thing not only doesn't attack twice, if uh, for free, not only doesn't it attack twice after killing an enemy, it doesn't. It does attack twice only if there is an enemy that's still alive. In my mind, this is like it's worse than it's worse than poisonous. I can't explain it better. It's worse than poisons. Poisons, I mean lethal, right? I'm not sure how exactly what exactly that wording is. Either way, I have gone into a salty rant here. Um, I have to say again, I have to repeat here again before we close. I know that yesterday I was saying that's a bug, and I understand that it's not a bug, and that's how the card is, okay? But you have to realize that I thought it was a bug, because if it wasn't a bug, then it's trash. And here we are. It is a, not a bug, and it is trash. I'm sorry, but that's fact. It's, it's fact. It's just fact. <laughs> Uh, if you disagree, just comment down below and tell me that you disagree. Or if you agree, just comment down below and tell me you agree. Everything is helping. The more you guys uh, comment or drop likes, the more you will see content of me. Not because I'm gonna stop uh, uploading if you stop. I'm obviously gonna continue uploading. But you know how the algorithm works. If you drop a comment on my video, then you will see more of my videos on your home screen. So that's how it works. Either way, that's going to be it for today. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.